Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Go Go Sports. It's the world's biggest ash home for combat sports, but above all, where it's okay to be a passionate fan. I am the huge one again, the idiot Dave Coco from DFEKOCO.com. We do streams, live streams, mostly pro wrestling and sports video games at twitch.tv slash Coco Sports. We're Coco Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'm trying to get back into this YouTube thing, do four or five videos a day. And as a huge, huge fan of Pride, I love it. I, I love it. I mix, I love, I love old school mixed martial arts where shit gets crazy. And here it goes. Just a few weeks after Floyd Mayweather, uh, after Floyd Mayweather to the ring, the boxing legend's next fight has been already announced. I'm reading this off Yahoo News. Mayweather retired as an undefeated professional record of 50-0 in 2017, but the American uh, has taken place in several expeditions about since then. The 45-year-old stopped kickboxing star Nasukawa in late 2018. I got to watch that live. Been, go been going the distance for with YouTuber Logan Paul last summer. <laughs> Just... Dude, I, most recently met with her fought former boxer Don Moore in Abu Dhabi in May. Now the former multiweight world champion is set to take on Azukura in the mixed martial arts native Japan in September. Um, uh, he's 29, has a pro MMA record of 16 and three, and is a, on a two fight win streak, having won the last two bouts via decisions. The uh, featherweight said per Sky uh, Sky Sports, "My name is Mikuru Asakuru." Uh, and I'll be fighting Floyd Mayweather. Um, I'm a MMA fighter, but now I'm going to this opportunity, and I'm going to uh, going to use him to raise my name and value internationally. I'm going to win this fight. The rules for this bout have not been announced. Uh, <laughs> I I miss old school pride where it was like a boxer and a sumo and all that with the entrance and the hip. Uh, Risen take has taken over recently of the big MMA events. Uh, mixed martial arts in Japan used to be humongous. Now it's kind of like seasonal. Like people want to see it around the winter holiday breaks. But outside of that, it's lost a lot of traction. But everyone loves a freak show fight. And Floyd Mayweather, of course, will come in. It just made crack up the rules in the belt have not been announced. Because Floyd is going to going to milk everything he can for an advantage and i'm sure he's making bank and i do hope it puts uh risen on a you know international audience and as far as his opponent i apologize nasukawa uh, i asked bear friend she covers japanese news he's basically the logan paul of japan he does vlogs videos and he's also a fighter and there's some myths about him that I don't think is true. And he's supposed to be a real badass that does like a lot of different tricks. So you have two fighters from two different um, cultures that are kind of known for being a bit, a bit tricky, bit asshole, bit uh, we'll we'll make them wait, we'll make them. I don't even know if this fight's gonna happen, but if it is, it's gonna be very interesting. Um, very interesting to see what the rules are. And I love to see old school MMA freak show fights a little bit. Uh, not all the time, but every now and then one would be nice and see if they can bounce back from pride. I'd love to see maybe the UFC to come back here and all that. So I, I find it to be very, very interesting. Um, I'll probably watch it. It'll be in September, depending on where it is and when it is and what the rules are. Maybe I'll go live, but knowing Knowing it'll probably probably not worth the price of admission, how expensive it will be, but it'll be an interesting situation. I know purists are kind of upset and angry about the whole situation, but to me, it's just fun. I mean, I missed the early days of can a sumo guy beat a jiu-jitsu guy? Could a boxer beat a kickboxer? Could a karate master be, you know... A janitor, I don't know, but like I miss the matchups, like Taekwondo. I, I miss that nowadays, especially in the UFC. It's all super athletes, so it's gonna be interesting. One of the, you know, just recently got in the Hall of Fame, had an emotional speech. One of the greatest defensive fighters of all time, and Floyd Mayweather, and will be going against Japan's bad boy, uh, Jake Paul. So it should be interesting. Um, I guess my question of the day is this: 
I miss old school pride. I miss old school no holds barred, old school mixed martial arts where it was a mix of styles, a little bit of a freak show. Do, do you guys miss it? Do you guys miss it? And are you hyped up for this fight? And do you think this fight will even happen? And if it, if it does, how kind how kind of wackiness is it gonna be? Um, some of the quotes of it. <laughs> Someone asked if Floyd needs the money. Uh, he does not need the money. I, I am not his accountant, but he, he's pretty wealthy. Um, and also, um, the Japanese fighter, he, he typed on in Twitter, oh my God, Floyd never shuts up. So I think it's going to be comical. I think it's going to be entertaining. And I look forward to it. I know a lot of today's fans want, like, perfect athlete versus perfect perfect athlete and when the one perfect athlete fails they're like say he fought nothing but cans but i i kind of i kind of like this stuff i kind of like it because it reminds me of when it was the pioneer days of mixed martial arts the pioneer days of no holds barred when it was just so much fun so hopefully this will be a fun event. I feel I want to be interested in seeing your feedback and maybe slowly but surely we'll get back into boxing and mixed martial arts right now. We're I've retired and I'm going to try to do four or five videos a day and just see how it works out, man. I miss doing YouTube. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little too cranky for you guys, but eh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Love you dudes. Like, comment, subscribe and more videos on the way with that. Check us out on Twitch. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the TikTok. With that, I am over. Hey, but on, bom, bom.